Hey, it's Pat from PJM Scheduling Services. So today I'm going to show you how to convert a Microsoft Project file to Primavera P6. So if you open up your Microsoft Project file, say it looks something like this. And uh, first thing that you're going to want to do is delete all of the empty rows. Um, so when you do the conversion, it does not like empty rows. And uh, so it assumes that the, the schedule has ended at that blank row so let's go ahead and delete those so that you have a continuous um, continuous line of activities all the way down to the very end of the schedule so I've deleted those rows I've saved that file I can exit out of that now the next thing that you're going to want to do is get uh, download an MPP to MPX converter so you know I just go to my search engine type in MPP to MPX converter the one that I'm using is um, appears to be this uh, this one from Project Controls Online. I didn't I haven't actually downloaded this one because I, I wasn't sure who actually made my MPX converter, but this looks to be the exact same one that I'm using. So um, I would just say buyer beware if you're going to use this site to to download it. I I have not downloaded it from this site. Um, so I'll go ahead and I will open my MPP to MPX converter. I'm going to browse for the MPP file, the Microsoft Project file that we just saved and deleted those rows out. Uh, make sure that your file path location isn't lo really long. You know, if your if your project file is in a bunch of different folders and your file your file path location is is really long. Um, you'll probably get an error message because I think there's a maximum number of characters that you can have in your file path location. So maybe just put it on your desktop to begin with to see if it works. So I've uploaded that. Um, let's go ahead and start the conversion process. So this will take just a second to do. All right, so the process is complete. Let's go ahead and press OK. And now uh, I can close that out. So now you'll notice that a new project file has been created, but this is a Microsoft Project Exchange file, MPX. Um, so that is the file that we're going to be importing into our P6 database. So go ahead and open up P6, go to File, Import, and Microsoft Project, select that one, and then select MPX. We're going to go Next. We're going to do the whole project. We're going to select the project that we want. So it's this MPX file, and you'll notice file type MPX. So that's the file that we want. Next, you might not have a template set up. I do, but let's just run through the settings real quick. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about what each one is, but in general, like you can match uh, the settings on your piece on your import to mine. So here's what general looks like. WBS. <clears throat> um, this, this one is interesting because uh, the summary tasks in Microsoft Project, I import them as activities. Um, and you'll see that, that it creates a bunch of activities that you end up having to delete. But when I've done it the other way, I've gotten error messages. So I, I just end up doing it um, with the activities. Uh, here's what the activity tab looks like. Um, I don't do the Microsoft Project fixed costs as expenses. Um, and then I also, I create a user defined field uh, to import the activity IDs too, because um, oftentimes I'll create my own activity IDs um, once I get it imported instead of having like just the row number. I create uh, an intelligent ID system. So uh, just create maybe a user defined field that you can import the rows, the row numbers too, so you can reference them later on. Um, resources, here's what that looks like. Notebooks, uh, none, and custom mapping. I don't do any custom mapping. So go ahead and click OK. We'll go Next, and then we'll finish that import process. So that was done successfully. Let's go ahead and open that. And um, now that it's opened, um, so it everything came over into P6. Uh, like I had mentioned, some of the some of the um, summary bars that were in Microsoft Project came in as activity, uh, as uh, individual activities. So like this CMU block, this electrical, these were all summary bars in in Microsoft Project. So you might have to go through and clean up 
some items. Um, so I would just I would just go through and like delete these items that that came in as uh, summary tasks uh, as part of my cleanup process. So it's not it's not a perfect clean conversion, um, but it, it'll at least get your activities and your WBS and everything into P6, and then you can work on cleaning it up a little bit um, once it's over into P6. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions um, or, or comments, leave them below. And uh, if you want to hire us to consult on your project, just go to pjmss.com. All right. Thanks. See you later.